Hi boys and girls, it's author Maria Desmondi, and today in our Sunnyside Homeschool, which I've been teaching these free classes since the beginning of the COVID closures, um, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, today we talked about mistakes. And we heard the story, The Girl Who Never Made Mistakes, and we learned about how this little girl was much happier when she stopped worrying about mistakes and she was able to try things that were maybe outside of her comfort zone and she knew that mistakes weren't going to be a huge deal, that she could recover and get back up again. We also talked about the story, It's Okay to Make Mistakes by Todd Parr, which is a little bit um, simplified and has some silly examples on why it's okay to make mistakes. Today, boys and girls, I talked about four things. Number one, when we're thinking about mistakes, it's important to look back. Look back and ask yourself, gosh, I made a mistake, for example, Let's say your mom asked you to carry, to clear the table from dinner and you were carrying a plate with one hand and it dropped and fell and it broke. If you were to look back, you could say, how can I do things differently? I could carry the plate with both hands. Number two is to um, look forward. Like, what am I going to do different next time? And then number three is to uh, be accountable, to own up to your mistakes. Instead of denying and saying, oh my goodness, um, it was an accident and I, I didn't mean to do it. And, you know, throwing a fit or say, even some people deny and lie about mistakes that they make. Instead of spending so much energy and effort on trying to say, I didn't make the mistake, how about trying saying, yup, I did it. I made a mistake. I'm going to change the way I do things next time so that this doesn't happen or maybe it will still happen, but it won't be as big of a mistake. Okay, and number four is to think small. So when we make mistakes and it maybe seems like something really big to fix, think in smaller parts. So say, okay, well, next time I'll just do a little bit of this and a little bit of this and a little bit of this. So if you break it up into parts, it'll be easier than saying, oh my goodness, I have this humongous mistake to fix. For example, my kids spilled glitter the other day. True story. And they feel very overwhelmed. They felt very overwhelmed about cleaning up all of the glitter. And so I said, I have three kids. I said, one child is going to sweep, one child is going to be vacuuming, and then the third child, when those two things has, have happened, you decide, does the broom work better or the vacuum, and you're going to be the final cleaner. And so I broke it up into parts instead of them feeling very overwhelmed that, you know, one person had to clean it all up. All right. So then what we did is we did a demonstration and I shared with you a calendar. This is my calendar for the month of May. And you can see we do not have a lot on our calendar because we have been following the stay at home um, quarantine lockdown and we really haven't been doing uh, much of anything. But a calendar is a place that we put uh, doctor's appointments and dentist appointments on there. And it's a place that we, um, you know, mark these things to look at today, the present, and to look at the future as to what's happening. But since May is over, I'm going to take this calendar and I'm going to throw it away. Because looking back at a calendar, unless I look back and say, oh yeah, that was a day I made a mistake. How am I going to fix it? We really don't need to be looking back a whole lot on calendars. Most people don't save calendars because what's in the past is in the past. We can learn from it and then move on, okay? Last but not least, if your grown-up downloads the PowerPoint that we did, you can take a look at um, the link to the video for, it's by a teacher, bilingual scrapbook, and she does directed drawings. And we did a directed drawing today of a llama, and we talked about using pencil so that if you do make a mistake, you can erase it and you can fix it. And this is what the little llama turned out to be. Um, I'm going to spend some time using a black marker to outline this, and then I'm going to color it so that I can finish my artwork. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today. We said goodbye in Lithuanian, um, and it was ata. Let me double check because I don't want to be telling you false information. We said goodbye. I want to make sure I should have checked before. I made a mistake. See that? I made, oops. I made a mistake, that's all. Mistakes can happen to anyone. Latvian, sorry, Latvian is ata. Ata, everyone. I will see you next time when we talk about something else. Positive character trait lesson.